Well, this all started back in 1934 when the Iowa Hawkeyes were hosting the Golden Gophers. Iowa had a player named Ozzie Simmons who was one of the few black players at that time. He was singled out because of his race and took some excessive hits from the Golden Gophers. That led to some bad blood between the two teams. But before they could meet again next year in 1935, the governor of Minnesota took some action. Uh, Floyd Olson made the call to Iowa Governor Clyde Herring uh, to, uh, you know, cool tempers and, and uh, make the situation what it should have been, just a great college football rivalry. And, and, and the loser of that year's game would have to uh, uh, pay for it with a hog, uh, a prized hog. And of course, Floyd was uh, from right here in Fort Dodge. And the live hog was delivered to the governor in St. Paul. The hog came from Rosedale Farms, a farm just east of Fort Dodge. The hog eventually died, so they made a trophy to stay with the winning team. Leaders in Fort Dodge wanted to mark this famous hog's hometown, so they commissioned an artist from Mount Vernon to make the Floyd of Rosedale statue. Well, the purpose of this statue of Floyd is to maintain that legacy and to keep it here in Fort Dodge. And it's just a wonderful thing, and it's, it's important for the University of Iowa, the University of Minnesota, and for the city of Fort Dodge. Uh, Dave Flattery, who spearheaded this project as a city councilman here in Fort Dodge, he's also a diehard Cyclone fan, so he took a little ribbing for that. You're a Cyclone. I know you're a great baseball player at Iowa State, so I'm, I want to wish the Cyclones all the best in their upcoming baseball season. <laughs> But back to the rivalry, in 1935 the two teams met and the Gophers won, but there were no incidents and uh, Simmons actually uh, praised the Gophers on their sportsmanship and the Gophers went out of their way to praise the play of Simmons as well. From Fort Dodge, Roger Riley, WHO 13 News. The Hog statue is located at North 32nd and 110th Avenue in Fort Dodge near the site of the original Rosedale Farms. Thanks for the history lesson, Roger. We'll be right back.